Hey there, it's Darren with Day 80. I'm here speaking at uh, the Grand Old Opry uh, Resort and Convention Center. So this is not the conference I'm speaking at, but back here you can see the registration desk. And I mentioned this a couple days ago when I was flying in. It's one of the ideas that I do that I think is gold for you. Now, I teach this at the Humor Boot Camp. I don't usually give this one away for free, but it's crucial and I wanna help you connect with your audience. So when you're in front of an audience, there's, let's just say there's uh, a group of entrepreneurs. So I always interview them ahead of time and I wanna know what frustrates them, what are their pet peeves, what's on their mind. See, if we know what they're, what's on their mind and what frustrates them, it's one of the keys to connecting to them. So I do that beforehand. So there's two kinds of tensions and frustrations. One is in their day-to-day -day life doing what they do. And usually a convention or a conference is a group of people who get together with a common interest, like an association or a company, they all work for that company in a certain industry. So number one is their common frustration or pet peeves. By the way, this is you know straight from stand-up comedy where they teach when you write comedy, you write about your own pet peeves and people who have that same pet peeve will resonate, but you write from a better place. This is uh, the flip side of that. This is going to their world and finding out what stresses them, what frustrates them, uh, what that emotion is that they have in their day-to-day -day life. And it's a great way to connect with them if you do it the right way. You don't wanna frame it negatively. You wanna release the tension, as opposed to in comedy when you're, um, say, cutting people down, with humor, you lift them up. So this is what I call the registration desk principle. So if you think about that, what are the common frustrations? Well, when you're at an event site, there's a whole different kind of frustrations. It's not their day-to-day, -day, it's what's happening right here at this event. So your day-to-day -day is one frustration, happening at this event is yet another. So. What do people complain about? What are they frustrated about on the event? Maybe their room's too cold, maybe it's too hot, maybe the food is horrible, maybe there's one meeting room you can't find. What is it at this conference? So if you think about it, if we could tap into that and release that tension, it would be gold because it's only common to them in that time. So obviously, if you know this, you not only did your homework, but you look like a rock star because you had the ability to adjust in the moment. So what I do, my secret is, when no one's around, I go up to the registration desk and I ask them, what are, what are people complaining about? And they're, you know, usually they kind of have to be nice and, oh, no, 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 nothing. But I try and stick around. I ask them again, now that I've planted that seed and kind of created that awareness in their reticular activation system, big word for me, I know. But, um, so I want to figure out what is that complaint? What is the pet peeve? What is the common frustration? We're looking for commonality, not that one rogue comment. So if people can't find a meeting room, yeah, 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 no one can find this room, or the food's horrible, or the food's cold, or whatever it is. Now, I also have to caution you that you've got to be careful and you've got to go pass it by the event planner because you don't want to make them look bad. So what I usually do is explain to the event planner why I'm going to talk about this because I'm going to help them relieve their tension. Because if they can laugh about it, now there's less likely to be on the evaluation forms. But if I don't, it's going to be on the evaluation forms. If I can relieve some tension, it will go a long way to making it a better event. But I need the event planner's permission because if they don't understand what I'm doing and why and how it's helpful to them, they can get mad at me. So, you know, you've got to use some common logic too and understand audiences as well. But going to the registration desk and pulling people aside when no one's around and keep asking that question gently and positively and let them know why you're doing it too because they might have some insights. One convention I did in Washington they had just changed a district or something in the area and this convention hotel was not like on the GPS, so no one could find it. So of course I used that. This hotel, it's like ginormous and they give you directions, there's maps everywhere, so I'm gonna figure out a way to tie into that as well. 
So it's called the registration desk principal. Go to the registration desk, the people who are working there, and when no one's around, see if you can dig it out of them. It might give you some gold so you can connect. Inspire by experience. Inspire by example. Tell your story. Help someone. As Mark Brown says, you have a story to tell and someone needs to hear it. See you tomorrow.